All right, brothers and sisters, uh, thanks for gathering, and we're gonna try this one more time where we left off. I guess uh, I'm gonna today's topic. I'm gonna tell a story first, and and you know we can we can get into it's gonna lead into today's topic. And, uh, yeah, I know. I'm gonna tell a story about two fellers, and you know and these two fellers are riding around the Commonwealth, and they wanted to go shopping and. Uh, as you're shopping, one of the store registers, the register opened up and they saw all the money. These two fellas just couldn't resist and they saw them, you know, maybe it was the Lord's work that presented himself the opportunity to take all this money. So as these fellas are taking the money out of the, the register and they, they saw they'd take some food off the, off the shelves and before they know it, one of the fellas realized what was actually going on. And they look outside, and there's a couple sheriffs outside. And, well, the situation inside versus outside looked like the, the two fellas on the inside were robbing the place. So, uh, the sheriffs eventually break through the door and end up shooting one of the fellas. And the other fella got tackled by the sheriff, and he got tackled so hard and uh, pulled the trigger on his gun, and he almost ended one sheriff's life. And so both both these fellows were arrested, and, and as the as the doctors were attending to the, the fellow that was shot, and the other fellow was sitting in his cell, miserable and thinking about his mistake he'd done. He come to realize uh, what kind of mistake he chose by taking the money that wasn't his out of the till. Now that's when the fellow heard the word of the Lord. The Lord talked to him, and he said, "You know." I can feel your pain you're going through in that cold cell right now, and I know you didn't mean to do that mistake. But, you know, as, as long as you stay true to yourself and you just repent your mistake, everything will be fine in time. And maybe one day you can do me a favor if I forgive you for my mistake and spread the word. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, brothers and sisters in this church today. That one fella in that cold cell. Feeling all that repent for his mistake. Ah, that feller was me. I see, my mistake that day was getting greedy. And, uh, I thought that money would have been for me and helped me out a bit. But that wasn't my money. That was the store owner's. And I, I, I did wrong. And I, my mistake almost led to the action of a life of a sheriff ended. Ever since that day, and the Lord spoke to me. And, I've been trying to do right and be on the path of righteous. And, uh, I believe so far it's been so good. And that brings us, that brings me up to my topic. Uh, my topic today for today's sermon is going to be about mistakes. Uh, my, my sermon today, I've, uh, I've put it down in my, my notebook here and titled this sermon, Gifts of Mistakes. Uh, brothers and sisters in the church, you know, we, we all make good mis we all make mistakes every now and then. It, it's it's, it's kind of just who we are as human nature. No matter how hard we try, you know, we, we can't afford, we can't avoid mistakes every now and then. It's just, it's, it's what we do. But, you know, mistakes as bad as they may be, have you ever stopped to consider what values and lessons a mistake can teach? I mean, mistakes just are not a source of frustration or embarrassment. But as I just said, a mistake can be a gift. Mistakes, they can teach us a lot of things, and they can help us learn. When we make a mistake, like the one I told you about that I made, we have an opportunity to reflect what went wrong. And what we could do differently next time. Or what I could have done differently and what I have done differently in my recent past is when I was shopping for some food. You know, the register opened up and I thought, oh, here's some money from the Lord. And then I remembered what happened and how I almost took that sheriff's life. And, you know, I, I closed the till and bought my food and I, I just walked out of there without taking any money this time. or getting greedy. I see, we can always analyze our mistakes, like I just said, explain there. Figure out what we did wrong, and we can make changes. 
to avoid making the same mistake in future. You see, if I didn't close that till and walk away, I would have made the same mistake. And the Lord would have looked down on me, and maybe he wouldn't have forgave me that time, because you know, I made the same mistake twice. You know? But, that being said, you know, we, if we never make mistakes, we would never have the chance to learn and to grow as human people. Mistakes, I mean, they teach us humility. It definitely taught me humility, sitting in that cold cell. When we make mistakes, we're, we're, we're forced to confront our limitations and imperfections. You know, I'm, I'm not perfect either. I never claimed to be. And every now and then, my, my mind wanders to the dark side. You know, the Lord created us with all the good and with equally just as bad. Uh, we're, we're the ones that can choose which we want to be. So if we choose the bad, and uh, you know, we don't learn from it, we're never gonna, we're never gonna get better and on the path of righteous. But every now and then, we do make mistakes. When we make a mistake, we realize that we're not invincible or inflammable, inflammable. And you know, can you know, it can also be a humbling experience, also a necessary one. I mean, I'll be honest with you, everyone. If, if if the situation never went the way it would, maybe the second time that chill opened for me, I would have taken all the money and tried to run away again. Humility allows us to be an open book, and for feedback, and be receptive to learning from others. Well, I definitely learned one of the consequences was could have got shot by one of them sheriffs like my fellow friend had happened. Mistakes, you know, they help us to develop resilience. We we'll make a mistake, we may feel discouraged or defeated. I know I sure did in that cold shell. But if we can learn from the mistake, we can learn to bounce back and keep going. You know, we, we, we become stronger and, and more resilient. You know, it only took me one mistake to realize uh, I shouldn't be taking money. That's not mine. No, it's, that's just not right. We, 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 develop, we develop the ability to preserve your difficult situation. And, you know, we, we can keep moving forward. And even if things don't go according to plan, it, it would be better off. You know, in the book, we see numerous examples in the book of people making mistakes who also learn and grew from their results. Example is, you know, you know Peter... In the book, Peter denies Jesus three times. Well, he was able to learn from his mistake. And he became a leader of an early church. I mean, if I, I'm going to make a very lewd reference. Uh, oh, I didn't deny Jesus, but, you know, I, I, I made the mistake. Now I'm, I'm up here praising for the Lord like, like he asked me to when I heard him in the cell. Well, King David. King David committed adultery and murder. But when David repented, he went on to become the greatest of kings. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to be the greatest of kings after, I, after my repent. I'm not saying I'm going to be a king at all. Uh, you know, I, I believe if I repent enough for what I've done in my past. And, you know, I'm, 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 no, I'm no saint. So I can say in my future as well, if I, if I repent, you know, who knows? Maybe I can still be who, who I want to truly be. Uh, it's, uh, repenting is just not, it's just not a, a, a word where you can say I've repented. Repention has to come from the heart. You really, you really have to mean when you repent. You know, if you say you're sorry just for the sake of saying sorry, uh, the Lord understands that, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to pull a fast one from him. Well, if you truly deep down, you feel sorry, maybe the Lord speaks to you like he did with me when I was in that cold cell. So, last I want to talk about is just, you know, just don't be afraid to make a mistake. We are not perfect. Mistakes do happen. You know, they're a perfect opportunity to learn and grow. So let's, you know, let's just embrace the mistakes that we make in the present. And try to learn from them. Try to grow from them. And it'll help you develop resilience to them in the future. Uh, let us be humble enough to admit our mistakes like I have admitted to you. 
let us learn from them as well. Let us trust in the grace and forgiveness of the Lord. We could take our biggest mistakes and turn them something into, into something beautiful. So, uh, last I want to say is in the Lord's name, I pray. Amen. Now, be before we leave the church today, I uh, just want to appreciate you brothers and sisters for showing up. Uh, I wasn't figuring many people would be here, but you know, three is company, so I do like company. I've, I've also prepared some holy water and, and some communion if you fellas would like some. You can just come up here and I can give you some. And, you know, I've, I've made enough I can share some with everyone. Hi, madam. Beautiful sermon. Sermon, Father. Appreciate that. Thank you for showing. Sorry for being late. Oh, it's okay. Um, I had my voice and my ears were clogged up. Well, what, what's your specialty there? Uh, what do you mean specialty? Your, your special number. Uh, 396. There's your command. Yeah, let me just, let me just, where's this holy water? Thank you. Amen. Oh, that's your holy one. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Peace be with you. Howdy, Father. What's your special number? Uh, 261. There's some holy water for you, Father. Oh, here's, here's your communion. Bless you. Oh, thank you very much. Peace be with you. Oh, in the back, you would you like some holy water or communion? I'm definitely telling about it. Are you doing this every week, Father? For, for the most part, there's going to be some weekends where where I'll, I'll be busy and I'll, I'll, I won't be around. But yeah, yeah, I'm going to try my best to, to do a sermon. I'm going to spread the good word. I appreciate I that. Thought this was uh, amazing. I'm very, very happy that you've gotten the church together. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know, I, it's not going to be a big sermon at all. Pro I'm, I'm trying to aim for at least 15 minutes minimum. Which, which oh, that's perfect. Not much that's longer than 30. all the guidance we need in these godless lands. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to say a little prayer before we take our communion. Absolutely. Y'all don't mind? Okay. Heavenly Father, bless these brothers and sisters that have blessed me with their grace of showing up in my church. I bless them with nothing but good fortune in the future. And love from the close one. In your name I pray. Amen.